Hello, thanks for joining me for another review. Right, today we are in Brixton, South London, in the Ghost Whale. There's their kind of a small kind of craft master's glass. Um, I've gone for a third of Warpix. Uh, it's my, I think it's my first review of a Warpix beer. I might have had one before, maybe Hop City or something like that last year. But, um, but yeah, it's coming in at 5%, it's a pale ale. Um, there's no listing for the IBU, so here it is. Uh, it's kind of as you'd expect, really. These guys, are, of course, are out of Copenhagen in Denmark. Um, so yeah, this is on on draft. Or we'll give it a try. Give it a sniff. Lots of kind of, although it's poured probably about 20 minutes ago because I was like, it's getting quite busy inside. I was going to do it inside, but there's music people in and out taking away bottles and stuff like that so I thought I'd come out here they've got a little backyard part a couple of big benches and a corner bit got some uh, I think they're hops that they're growing over there so um, they're probably not they're probably just uh, some flowers but anyway back to this beer I'm getting a lot of kind of pineapple Big citrusy notes in this. Maybe a bit of passion fruit, juicy orange, maybe a little bit of melon. It's a little bit on the aroma. It's the first time I've actually really got to actually. I've had a few tastes already, but that was a while back. Um, first proper aroma I've got of this, and I'm outside. But yeah, it's smelling really nice. Definitely a melon kind of quality coming through, so let's give it a try. Cheers. Wow, pineapple, passion fruit, a little bit of maybe lemon zest, orange, very tropical, very refreshing, very good. Um, it's actually called Snack Family, this beer. Um, so yeah, this is a nice snack indeed, without the family. There's a little uh, aphid in there, but hey ho, it's part of protein, I guess. Um, yeah, this is a fantastic beer. I mean, it's not overly hazy, it's probably mid range, but for a parallel, fairly hazy, I guess. Um, this place has got four or five taps on at the moment, um, which another beer I'm definitely going to be trying. They've got the barrel aged 10 50 on draft. Um, I've got a can of that in the fridge at home, but that Paul brought that over from Pennsylvania in America, so that's that's safe because I'm going to go and I wouldn't have it anyway, but I'm going to go and try it on draft. So in the UK, madness, isn't it? Really, you get beers like this in the UK that people, some people in America can't get at all. So very lucky. Anyway, one more sip and the ratings. I'm waffling. It's a very crushable beer. If you're in any kind of major city and you've got a beer like this on, on draft, like I'm in London now, it's just a winner. It really is a winner. Um, regards to the rating, I'm giving this an 8 out of 10. It's a really good parallel. It's definitely worth seeking out. If you're in Copenhagen, you've probably already had it. Um, but yeah, if you've had a few, it's probably one of their regular kind of beers that they produce, I guess. Um, Standard parallel, American parallel, shall I say? Anyway, comments down below if you've had this one before, or if you've had any other beers from War Pigs before. I'd be quite interested to know because I've, I've not really had touched too much on on this brewery. So, uh, but I'm going to in the future for sure. Anyway, cheers for watching, and I will see you shortly on the next review. Cheers.